back on the Roaring Fork today. Chuck Fothergill, 1932 to 1996, father of Aspen fly fishing. We're just gonna, I've just taken some big bugs, heavy, heavy weight, and um, I'm just gonna fish upstream, fishing a lot of this pocket water. Um, you can fish all the way up to Aspen, the Rio Grande River run, a Rio Grande trail runs right, uh, right next to the river. So I'm just gonna kind of stay on this trail and move up river and just kind of drop down and hit some deep, deep pocket water. So, but here's what I'm using. I've got three X, I've got a big split shot here and I've got a big stone right there. And then I've got, I've got a small little nymph right there. So that's kind of what I'm starting off with, but we'll see what I can can't get into. See what happens. Look at, look at this guy. That's what we have to deal with all the time. You ready to go fishing, man? Huh? <laughs> Are you ready to go fishing, man? Yeah. Right up there behind that rock. I got fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish on. Nice. Oh, he got off. He got off. <laughs> Pheasant tail. <laughs> He's all right. They feel really good in that current. Jake's got a fish on. Nice. Good start to the morning. Nice. Just do a lot of roll casting. Just stick it in behind these rocks. Get it on bottom. Look at there. That looks pretty good. Nice. Got him. Looks like a pretty good spot right here. As soon as I take the indicator off. Yeah. How fun is this? How fun is this? It just don't get much better than this. Man. Little trail that goes up alongside the Roaring Fork from Wilton Jaffe Park up to uh, Aspen. That's some good looking water. There's definitely some fish in there. Alright, I changed up flies. Let's see. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. Don't go in there. Nice. Caught him on the hairs there. Beautiful. Been roughed up a little bit. We just got off the water and um, went and grabbed some lunch, some Wendy's, some cheese burgers, and some french fries. And uh, it's about four o'clock. We had a good morning. 
uh, love that place love that place love the the pocket water uh, if you want to hike there's plenty of places to fish so five six miles five there. six miles so but uh it's about four o'clock and uh we decided we're gonna run up here to the frying pan and but yeah so we're gonna we're just gonna go check it out and see what we can get into Shot. We're we're kind of re-rigging. Um, this river is based off what we've been told and what we kind of see is probably a little bit different setup. We're going a little lighter on everything, a little lighter tippet. Um, these fish up here get fished really hard. So <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're going to start off with some x to our first fly which is like midge copper john something like that and then we drop in some 6x off to a little tiny nymph you got a little betas on there what do you got pretty clear water though huh see any fish down there there are tons of fish in here they're very smart oh we got it Doesn't tell. Beautiful fish. So we're coming down in the valley. We're headed back to the truck. We're gonna hang out until this little storm goes through. But those fish are huge. Uh, now I know what they're talking about. Rage. Now I know what all the rage is about on the frying pan, but these fish. You can tell they've been fished for hungry. Yeah. Well, we just got out the river. It's about 8:30. Uh, man, they are some huge fish in this river. I mean, and you can see them. I mean, they're all over the place. I mean, I saw I don't know how many fish over 20 inches just swimming around, 15 feet from me. But you can tell they've been fished for. Um, they're very smart, at, but uh, beautiful area. Uh, but like I said, just very, what do you say, Jake, technical water? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, High pressured fish. Yeah. I want to come back. Uh, it's pretty good, huh? It's fresh, frustrating seeing those fish I couldn't I catch. Yeah. It's, all, it's, it's kind of challenging, though. It's like, man, mm -hmm. I want to figure out how to catch those things. So. But this, we will figure it out. We're going to figure it out. But all right, tomorrow we'll be hiking into the back country. Um, Chasing some cutthroat, maybe. That's the plan, anyways. 